tulipoanza mwani huu wa kawaida ilikuwa mapato madogo kidogo kwa sababu nilikuwa ni peke yangu na halafu ni shughuli kubwa za mwani huu kwa hivyo ndikuwa mekama naweza kuzalisha peke yangu naweza kusema kilomia naweza kupata kwa mwani huu nolimamie lakini huu mwani wa kima kirefu na tofauti na mwani huu huu mwani huu kwa sababu tunalima koto na koto ni natakiwa hiyo katika maji mengi alafu na kipato chake nimekiona tulopata kwa mfuno mmoja ni mazuri sana kwa sababu kima kilikuwa kikubwa sana ingawa tuko wengi lakini tunategemea kama tutakuja kuvuna ba mvua moja au mbili atakuwa mambo mazuri zaidi Zanzibar is a historic island deeply rooted in culture and picturesque scenic beaches. But it is also home to seaweed farming, where it currently employs 25,000 people, mostly rural women, and up to 150,000 people are benefiting from the seaweed industry. The seaweed is mostly exported to China, Korea, Vietnam, Denmark, Spain, France, and the United States. While to many it may just be an unwanted weed, it is revolutionizing many livelihoods in Zanzibar such as Asha Hamadi's family and others. Tulikuwa ni mkulima tu wa mwani wa kawaida. Nilima mwani baada ya muda ndio ikaja mambo ya cluster kuhusu mwani. Hapo mwani ukitengeza ukaweza kutulikia mwani hasa unaweza kupata mambo yote ajira kwa watu utaweza kuendeleza si familia yako na kuwasaidia wenzio ambao wana shida. Na uko utatumia mwani ni dawa ya ngozi fungus kama maradhi ya tumbo, kesa, goita. Ukao utaweza kutumia mwani unaweza kujiepusha na maradhi mengi kwa sababu mwani ni mwani, chanzo cha madini mwilini. Seaweed farming is very popular in Zanzibar, especially among women and is of great significance to the Zanzibar economy, the third largest industry in Tanzania. Women constitute at least 70% of seaweed farmers in the neighboring Unguja and Pemba Islands and up to 90% of the farmers in Zanzibar. However, seaweed farmers always face challenges in the farming technologies used. That is why Dr. Flower Msuya is dedicated to helping farmers access better technologies. I'm a researcher working with the Zanzibar Seaweed Cluster Initiative. I am a 2014 award fellow. My work is mainly to do research in seaweed farming and value addition. The cluster initiative is an initiative under the Pan-African Competitiveness Forum, which is a, a clusters program across Africa. Uh, and uh, it was started in uh, 2005, and we started to do our activities in uh, 2006. Before 2006, no one knew that you can actually make products out of seaweed. So my other area is on the on the farming itself to develop technologies that the farmers can use to farm this seaweed. And uh, we have two types of seaweed. One is called cottony and its price is higher than the other one called spinosa. But because of changes in the environment, the higher value seaweed is not growing anymore. So I am working to develop technologies that the farmers can use to produce this higher value seaweed. So they produce the higher value seaweed and then they add value to the lower value seaweed. So I have developed a, a, a recent technology called tubular nets where the farmers use a, tube nets made locally in Tanzania and actually I initiated to make this locally uh, uh, local tubular nets. The farmers can use these nets to plant the higher value seaweed in deeper waters we are talking about 2 to 6 meters so they can produce a higher value seaweed this is now the the tubular net the seaweed is planted inside the nets using these pipes as a driving agent into, because you cannot put the seaweed inside the net without this uh, pipe as a driving agent and now this is a locally made tubular net and uh, If you compare this with the ropes that we saw in the shallow water areas, uh, if you tie the seaweed in the ropes and then put in deep waters, like the other technologies we were developing on uh, the floating rafts, the, when the, the waves are, are rough, then the, the seaweed breaks off. So that is why the other technology did not work. So tubular net is not, so far the best technology because even if the sea is rough, the, the seaweed is inside the net, so it doesn't break off. 
the actual harvesting. We, we see increase in the harvest of the high bulb seaweed uh, for something like uh, we, we get to 500 uh, kilos more per farmer and uh, we, they also get uh, fish from, from, from this technology. Actually, after becoming the uh, award fellow in 2014, I I'll say that my courage my courage increased a lot, and especially when when I attended this course on leadership, and uh, I was told how you can be assertive, how you can be uh, outgoing, how you can make uh, networks, uh, combining the, the the training in leadership, and then seeing how each fellow was sharing what they have been doing, that changed my 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 thinking and my way of doing my my applied research work. I knew how to go out, how to reach the people, how to network, and how to look for uh, partnerships to do research together and to, uh, to do development in my, in my work. For example, getting funding from uh, Western Indian Ocean Marine Science, which I did my research on uh, tubular nets. So this has given me real courage to do that. Mm -hmm.